My name is uh, Holly Robinson, and I'm a mom and stepmom. I have uh, three children of my own um, and two stepchildren. I am a writer, which means I spend a lot of time sitting. Um, I've tried various exercise programs. My problem is I always have these really intense deadlines, and it's really hard for me to keep exercise scheduled into my day. I needed something that was flexible. I think for probably, I don't know, maybe four years. I kept seeing the ads for the uh, Couch to 5K programs in the Newburyport Daily News. And I would look at those ads and think, I should do that. I should do that. But it's probably too expensive and it's probably too hard. Uh, I tried maybe, you know, 10 times on my own and I would bolt out of the driveway and then exhaust myself within 10 street lamp. And I thought, ugh, running is not for me. Finally, this summer, I thought, okay, it's probably too expensive, but I'll just email the coach and just find out. And I said, I'm probably too old for your program. I had just turned 60. Uh, I don't think I can run. I have bad knees. Um, and she emailed back right away and said, well, I'm older than you are. And uh, I assure you, I get many people with bad knees through the program. We go really slowly. And I said, well, it's probably too expensive. But I emailed her back and said, how much is it? And she said, it's free. So I thought, well, okay, there goes, you know, excuses one through six. Now I had really no excuses. I went to the first practice. It was horrifying. It was intimidating. There were a lot of people there. But, and the first day was a little bit hard, but actually not that hard. It was walking and running and walking and running, uh, just a minute or so at a time. And gradually I got to know some of the other runners and Nancy made the practices really fun. And I made every single practice without fail. And that really helped because I built up so slowly. So that that was really a big piece of it. And Nancy was very careful about, you know, the stretching and the squats and the things to sort of strengthen us. and. After every practice, she told us what a good job you did and why you were running, what a good job you did. And we all told each other what good jobs we did. And so that was really helpful to have so many cheerleaders in one place. Um, and it was, a, it, it became a community. And I think that's really the key to sticking with exercises. If you become part of that community, that really helps you. And even when I missed a practice, I really <laughs> missed it. And I went running on my own. And, and then the Mother's Day 5K came along. I told my mom that I wanted to do it and then I'd signed up for it and uh, she said well you're out of your mind why would you do that on Mother's Day that's when your husband brings you breakfast in bed and I said well this is a present for myself I'm gonna just go and do it I think that first 5k was really hard for me because I realized how fast some people are I had never been in an actual race with real runners and they were just I mean they were whipping by me, including, you know, mothers with baby strollers. So that's a little disheartening. But at the same time, I thought, well, it doesn't really matter. Like what matters is that you just go around the course and you go one step at a time. So, and we were all there again, cheering each other on. And, and that the, there was music and there was a big balloon gate thing we ran through and it ended up being totally fun. It was a really great experience. So, and that made me less intimidated for the Derek Hines race until the actual day of the race. And I saw how many people were at that race. That was huge. That was like our big final exam, you know? So I knew Nancy wanted us all to make it and do well. And I thought, well, okay, what is my goal here? Maybe I could do it just a little bit faster. Like breaking 37 minutes, I think, was the Mother's Day 5K. I thought, if I can do that, then all right, that's my personal best. That's all I need to do. I don't need to beat anybody except that time. And it started pouring rain, and that was an experience because I, was, I had never run in quite such hard rain before. But again, there were all these people on the sidelines cheering us on, um, and there was music. Even the Newburyport High School band played, even in the rain. They played as we ran up High Street the last rail trail part where all the flags were. That was phenomenal because A, I was almost done. And then B, just the, the flags. It was so moving. It was such a moving day with all of the speeches and the cause we were running for. And it was part of something bigger than just yourself. And then finishing, like actually getting through the finish line and having Nancy there to greet us and Kim. It was remarkable. It was really great. I'm so glad I did it. Oh, and I broke my time. It was, uh, I, I was two minutes faster. So now I'm actually looking at the next race. Um, so I'll probably do 
the Apple Harvest Run. I'll do the Yankee mm. Homecoming Run if I'm here in town. I'll do that. Um, the group stayed together, which has been nice. So we've run a few times together. Still trying to run three times a week. I think the hardest day is when she took us on the practice run for the Mother's Day 5K. And some of us went the wrong way, including me. So um, the 3.2 distance turned into like four miles or something. So that, that was really hard. I felt crushed because I thought, I'll never do this. Turns out I had added an extra eight tenths of a mile or something. That was a really hard day. And also the speed drills. That was a horrible day for me. The first time we did speed drills because um, this was the first time around the mail because I realized I'm not very fast and I got winded really easily even though I thought oh this will be fun I've been running for weeks now but it turns out it's a lot different running at a slow pace than doing speed drills the heat was horrible when we went on the rail trail in Salisbury that really hot day when we were supposed to be passing each other and singing that was very hard so I guess there were a lot of hard days the Mother's Day race because it was my first 5k where I actually ran 5k in a race and I wasn't a spectator and that was huge for me because of after so many years of being just a spectator at so many races I can't even count how many probably 200 races between my three children always just a spectator so many people think they can't do it and if I can do it anybody can do it um, really anybody can do it especially with someone like Nancy to sort of coach you through it because I really think the community makes a huge difference you know I have achy knees, I have um, feet that get sore easily, you know, I put a lot of miles on my legs. Oddly, my knees feel better than when I started the program, and Nancy said that might happen, that, you know, going, like, go, I can run up and down stairs now and it doesn't bother me at all, and it went before I started the program, it did. I feel so much better. There is so much anxiety everywhere in the world at the moment with shootings and terrorist attacks and elections coming up, whatever is going on. And that's always true. It seems to be more true these days. I don't know, but it's always true that there's an anxiety all bubbling around us. And I find that running really reduces that so much that if you, even if you're not going to do it for your physical health, I would say for your mental health, it's a wonderful reason to do it.